Last time you saw us, we were exploring the old town of Chiang Mai and we had a little bit of a run-in with the police. So if you haven't seen that video, then go check that out next. We've now moved to this place. It's called The Core. It is absolutely beautiful, very bright rooms. It's got a pool table, it's got a pool. It is exactly what we need. And a bar. And a bar. It is right next to Chiang Mai University, which means that it's a little bit more affordable and a lot less touristy. Next week, we're going from Thailand to Laos. So today we're gonna to go to the Chiang Mai University night market, which is right behind me and literally a stone's throw away from the hotel. Buy a few things for that trip and maybe some food along the way as well. We used to come to this market a lot before because it was one of the only markets in Chiang Mai that was still open during the pandemic. It's got loads of food, snacks, loads of shopping items, a lot of personal stuff like clothing, beauty, and since it's not catered for tourists, you won't be finding your little elephant trinkets, you won't be finding Chiang Mai t-shirts here. It's a lot more for locals. So today we do have a budget and that budget is 1,150 baht, which is around 30 US dollars and it's also around half of our actual traveling daily budget. Now, if you remember back over a year ago now, we made a video on our daily budget and it was 50 pounds back then. We now upgraded it a little bit just to give us a bit of leeway, but now we're also covering everything. That's like dentist, going to books, going to get your nails done, absolutely everything. Talking about getting my nails done, these have been painted since I was last in Wales, so pretty long time. So I think it's high time that I get them sorted. So they're first on the item of things we need to get done today. I hope they don't eat up too much of the budget, but there's a place right here. Let's check it out. Do you have a time for nails to paint? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting my nails done. Even though I probably should, my nails are terrible. I bite them a lot, so, but no, not for me today. So my nails have just finished. It took way longer than Dylan probably expected. I know it takes quite a long time, but look how cute they are. Happy? I'm so happy. <laughs> so that was 500 baht. I mean, that is insane. For the other ones I had, without any extra frills or thrills, they were 45 pounds, which is what, like $50? I'm actually really yeah. hungry. Probably we should get maybe some little snack first. So sausage, sausage and cheese. And then there's just a cheese one. Look at that one. It's got like noodles on it. Yeah, that one's tried noodles. I don't think I've ever had a corn dog. I've heard of them in like American movies. Yeah. When they go to like the big football games and they have a corn dog. Yeah. That looks super unhealthy. <laughs> oh my God, this thing looks awesome. I know this is not a food video and it's not necessarily Thai food. But just look at that thing. <laughs> Potato crumbs on the sides and ketchup on the top. There's loads of great food here. Lots of selection. Like when we came before, it was no way as big as this. Maybe a quarter of the size. Now it's insane. There's so much selection. But this really looked good. So let's see. It's like breaded. And then you got that melted cheese on the inside. Oh my god. That is junk food. Oh, that's good. That's really good. This was 79 baht? Yep. Not bad considering it looks like a whole meal, but already it's like structurally the integrity is like <laughs> diminished. Mmm. That is crunchy. It's junk food. Cheesy. That is junk food. There's a few things we want to buy here today. I've had this t-shirt for God knows how long now. You've probably seen it in about 20 videos and it's about time I got some new t-shirts or vests or tank tops if that's what you call them over in the States. This market is so cheap for clothing and some of them have some funny names as well. Yes. The clothes. <laughs> They love to write English things on clothes and I don't know if they're doing it sarcastically or if they're just writing really random stuff on there, but I non-sarcastically love it. <laughs> when I was walking around earlier when Adriana was having her nails done, I found bunnies, rabbits. Adriana loves rabbits. Wait, but like real, real life? Real life. Do you want to go see them? Yes. <laughs> if I remember where they are. Oh, 
Oh, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. There's hedgehogs. You find them in your garden. <laughs> in your garden or in Chiang Mai? Yeah, or in Chiang Mai. It's like, on one hand, I love seeing little bunny rabbits. On the other hand, I just want to take it home so it doesn't have to be in here. But we can't take a bunny with us to Lao, can no, we? I don't think so. I used to have a bunny, but too much work. Maybe one day when we've settled down. Yeah, we can, have a bunny. We can get a bunny. <laughs> okay, yes. back to the task. Now. Back it's to the task. Camera. We need to find some clothes. Okay. okay. Like there, how are you doing today? What does that even mean? They're asking you how you're doing today. What does like are there like, mean? I'm doing like there. Yeah. Well, the prices are so cheap in this market, it's like 140 baht. Yeah. I don't think even it's a haggle for prices here because no foreigners really come here, so that is the price. That's a really good price. That one's nice, isn't it? I like that. It's quite a thick material as well. Oh yeah, that actually does feel really good. It's worth coming to these markets just to read these. Allergic <laughs> to idiots. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh, I like that one. You like this one? Yeah. Oh, it's got the same thing on the back. Oh, that's but that cool. looks really cool. It's 200 baht. This uh, market has like different levels of shops. So further out you go, or further in you go, the cheaper they are. But this is more of a shop shop, like an actual yeah. shop. Let's pay for this, yeah? Happy with that purchase, I think. We needed some vests for, I think, Lao and Cambodia, where we're going next. It's just going to be more sort of chill, laid back. Okay, so we have left. 360, 71. 371 left. Okay. Let's do it's time to buy you something, I think. I like the uh, funny writing tops. So. You gotta go back there. I'm going back. There's there. some nice crop tops there. Yeah. I love myself. I'm a rabbit. I'm so proud of you. Or, but first, bread. I think that's more you. Yeah. I'm gonna say yes to the rabbit. Yeah? It was like it was meant to be. We saw some rabbits. There's some rabbit. Yeah. Okay, yes, let's do it. Thank you Here very you much. She's always spending my money. Yeah. <laughs> it's our money. Okay. Oh. 140. 140, oh, okay. Kung <laughs> kung Okay, so that was 140 baht for that adorable rabbit t-shirt. Oh, this is awesome. If I hadn't spent so much on my nails, I would have bought like five of them. <laughs> this is all we need. Oh, yeah. For our helmets, which we're using again now, because we got a motorbike, we need some fresh stickers. Easy, easy lemon squeezy, yeah. Sorted. Yeah. Can I have the wallet, please? So that should be 50 baht, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so I'll explain or I'll show you the stickers that we got because a lot of the ones that we have on our helmet currently are very sun bleached because all our heads do in the helmet is stay out in the sun. So we've got a Thai flag for me. We've got. Snorkfaken, I don't know what her name is in English, but it's the female Mumin. Dylan's got Millhouse. Millhouse. Homer, but it but says it's shrimp, shrimp, which is hilarious. Bart. And then I've got Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. I love a bit of Simpsons, so that fits well. Yeah, you really went with the theme. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. If we have budget left at the end. I get salty popcorn. You can have some popcorn. Okay. Let's not buy anything else now. <laughs> we love sweet things and we agree on most sweet foods. But Adriana loves salty popcorn and licorice and maybe it's a Swedish thing but... The licorice is a Swedish thing. I don't like salty popcorn. I would pick sweet or caramel any day of the week. This market is so busy but it doesn't feel like super hectic in here it feels pretty organized and everyone's calm they have the same crop tops here that i bought for mine but here they're 180. Is it cheaper mine was 140. oh mm. i guess it pays to look around yeah well i mean i didn't even look around <laughs> but no. i got the cheaper one somehow <laughs> Wow. 
200. Don't have 200 baht. Only have 181 left. Oh. 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 Smash the helmet. Oh. How much is that? Oh, that's way out of, out of our budget. It's 390. Wait. 180. Oh, yeah. It's 180. Should I go for a different color rather than white? Because I've already got white. Maybe a black. Yes, girl. Is that what it says? You can. Yes, you can. Yes, girl, you can. What's that one oh, say? That was nice. Oh, that's really nice. Smile, you're inspiring people. You don't even know. No, I love that. How much is that? Also 180. Oh, the thing is, I always buy white clothing. And in Thailand, or Asia in general, white does not last long with all the noodles and stuff you're eating. Like, my white t-shirts are ruined. I've got splatters everywhere. <laughs> but they just look so good and they make you look so much more tanned. Okay, let's get it. Chop. Chop cup. We didn't complete the budget. One bat left. I'm actually shocked and amazed how much we were able to get for just 30 US dollars. I mean, you can't even buy a t-shirt in the UK for $30, let alone get your nails done and buy two more t-shirts and all of the other stuff. Let us know in the comments down below what was your favorite that we purchased. I know what my favorite is. Actually, no, I don't. What was your favorite? Let us know. <laughs>